we loathe cheating in this country and we celebrate monogamy. I mean, every romantic comedy is based off of that. But are we maybe wrong about it? A growing number of couples may be choosing something called non-monogamy or an open relationship where you sort of give each other permission to have a sexual relationship outside your emotional relationship. New York Times Magazine recently posed this question, is an open marriage a happier marriage? So is it? Joshua Magallanes is a licensed mental health therapist in Seattle. We've talked about what an open relationship is, but what do you do and how do you tackle it? Because when you enter into a relationship, maybe you're not exactly on the same emotional page and ready for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have to, you you tackle it, I think, like, like any other difficult situation in a relationship or a topic that needs to be talked about um, is you do that. You, you communicate out and, and talk about where both of you are on the spectrum. I, I believe uh, many of us are on spectrum in terms of sexuality and fluidity. And so understanding where um, the barriers lie and how much they're able to sway from one way to the uh, or the other. Do you think it could be something that changes over time? I mean, could you open up a relationship, you know, 10, 15 years into a marriage, for example? Could you close a relationship if it had been open? Or do you think once the rules are set, you live with the mm -hmm. rules? You know, I think, I think that's kind of, that's a great question. Um, and I think uh, there's a lot of things to consider, right? Um, is the marriage at risk? Are you using the openness of the relationship to fix something? And if that's the case, it's probably running you down the dead end zone or, or the danger zone anyway. Um, but I do think you can open up a relationship successfully and then maybe things change or partners change emotionally or whatnot and, and you have to kind of scale things back. It truly is about communicating with your partner what is okay and what isn't. Um, what levels of flirtation are okay um, and really talking about um, the level of threat, you know, is one partner feeling more threatened than the other and, and, and talking about that. Um, or if it's just sexual and, and that's okay with both partners, I, I think that's okay as well. Um, and I, I, I think we see it all over the board with different relationships and different couples, both straight and gay, um, where they open up their relationship and, um, and then for one reason or another, come back from a trip and say, you know what, that was great, we opened it, but I don't think we need to do that again. Mm -hmm. And we'll revisit it, so. I have to say, if, if I was going to say if someone came to me, but I am married, so if particularly my <laughs> husband came to me and said, hey, hon, question for you. Um, I was thinking about maybe opening our relationship, even though intellectually I can listen to what you're saying and I can acknowledge that that makes sense for certain couples and I say, okay, yes, for a lot of people that makes sense, mm -hmm. I would be offended. Mm -hmm. So as a couple, if one of you wants to broach that conversation, how do you have it without coming across as this isn't good enough for me? Right. You know, and I think that's that's a delicate situation and, and very tough to come across anyway. Um, and I think coming through with compassion, uh, it, sometimes it's using people like me uh, to uh, go into couples counseling and, and talk about these fears or what the needs are of both partners. I mean, you know, when, when I talk about relationships with uh, or when I talk about the relationship with couples, I talk about wanting, right? As a relationship, each person has to want something too. And I think that's okay to ask. And in this society, we sometimes don't feel okay asking those questions. Hey, I want to open this up or I'd like to explore something and, and is that okay with you? That's, to me, just understanding why more people are even having this discussion right, right. is helpful, I think, if I listen, you know, I bet folks at home are like, I don't want to do it, but at least I now understand right. a little better why people people do do it. Or they're looking at each other over their pancakes, like eyeing each other, like, are you going to ask me to open up this relationship? <laughs> don't even think about it. Just call Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. can help oh, you out. Yes, informed is the best way to approach yes. all of this. So, Definitely. really interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you both. Really appreciate it. And for more information, you can and head to joshuatherapy.com.